Hello YouTube. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the next step for the foot placement system, which is actually going to be creating a function so that uh, we don't need to necessarily draw the left and the right traces. We can have one function that can execute both of them uh, when it's called. So here we go. Uh, first, let's click here and third person character. Now, uh, if you're new to blueprints, there is an area over here where it says functions, where you can essentially create a um, uh, like a sub blueprint, so that everything inside of the function will get executed, and then it'll go on to the next one. It's very similar to how like they would call this one over here. In fact, this is probably a function in uh, with itself. Um, so essentially, we're going to create a new one. Um, and we're going to call it IK foot trace. Now inside of this function, um, what we're going to be doing is uh, setting in a couple inputs and outputs for it. So if you click here, you'll see the inputs pane and the outputs pane. For the input, we're going to do um, a like a socket name input. Change this type to name so that we can just enter in uh, whatever socket we want, uh, such as the left foot socket and the right foot socket. And then we're also going to do a um, trace distance and set that to float. By doing the trace distance, this is where we're actually setting the um, how far we want the trace to happen below the foot. Um, and then for outputs, after it passes through the function, we want a hit detection so that we can run a little check, set that to a bool type. Um, since we'll be also calculating the hip offset, um, set that to a float type. And then we actually want the location of where the hit happens, and so we'll call that the effector location. and set that to a vector. Okay, so you'll see two things generated from that. You have this here, which is the start of the function, and this return node, which is the end of the function. Everything in there is what we're going to actually draw out. So, um, the essence of it is that we're going to be, or the essence of this function is that we're going to find a, loca or find a location above the character's feet. In fact, hold on. Let's draw that out. Um, the character is going to be like this, and we're essentially going to be choosing an area here um, where the above or the x and y axis of the foot socket, and then the z uh, higher than the actual foot socket, so about here. And it's going to draw a trace going straight down the length of the trace, let's move this, the length of the actual trace itself is going to be 150 and then it's going to that boolean for did it hit something is going to call true or false here um, and then the effector location is going to be wherever this hit is. That hip offset is because um, if you were watching the principles video, if we have something like the staircase over here and this area is lower, we want the entire character to go downwards so that the end result looks like the character is going like this. Otherwise, if uh, since this foot, let's say, is already touching here, this leg would have this unrealistic stretch if we didn't have if we didn't move the hip. Uh, so in order to get the this part to go down, we need to have the entire character go down. By doing that, we are essentially offsetting this distance um, between the hip and the location. Um, and then in inside of the uh, inside of the animation blueprint, we'll actually be moving the hip uh, lower than um, than the pawn is. Uh, for those new to Unreal, a 
pa the pawn is essentially the character itself. All right, so let's begin this function. First things first, we need to get the socket location. Uh, which socket? That's going to be our variable over here. So we take the mesh. And then we do get socket location. We pump the name that we're going to input in here. And then the location is where we're going to be uh, doing our thing. So we need to break this. Make a vector. We're going to be using the X and Y components of this but the Z we're not using from that. The Z we're going to be taking it from the actor location. Or get actor location. Breaking this since we only want the Z. <coughs> and the Z we're going to be uh, utilizing the uh, the capsule of the character as well as that. We'll be subtracting the actor location which is around his hip level minus the uh, half of the half height of the capsule. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of strange but we need to get the capsule component here then we need to get the half height uh, so I get capsule half height. Let's divide this in half. Let's divide by two. And then pump this in here. And then this becomes our new Z. And that is going to be the start location of the line trace. So we'll do uh, line trace by channel. Let's go ahead and just pump that in here. Put that as our start location. And our ending location is going to be the X and Y once again. So we need to make another vector. So X and Y. The Z is going to be the trace distance of what we want, subtracted by the location of the uh, location of the actor. Sorry. All right. So come over here, subtract a float, and then our input for the trace distance and Z. And then that is our start and end locations. We're going to set the visibility here. Um, we can leave that off. For the moment we're going to turn this one on so that we can see where it hits. Um, and then this is going to go here. The hit value is going to go out here. And we're not done yet but let's compile this and run it to see what we have so far. Or actually, sorry, I forgot to actually implement the function. What what happens in the function is that it will create, you have the function here, but really none of it's implemented yet until you go back to the, to the event graph and uh, tell it to do something. So for the, let's call the tick statement. pump the function in there. We want the socket name to do uh, left foot socket and then the trace distance to be 150. And let's just do that. Now that we actually have it in our blueprint we can see that whenever we walk you'll see that it is drawing this trace. And so if we run up the stairs you'll notice that um, it's going, or you can kind of see how far it's going. So it's essentially tracing from the knee down. 
Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and finish up that function. Open here. To get to functions, you can either double click on this or go to the functions panel and click on that. So I'm just going to double click here. Okay, um, the next step, we're going to break this out hit so that we can get the location. Let's break the hit result. Um, the effector location is going to be the impact point. And now we need to calculate for the hip offset. So impact point, we're going to break the vector and we're just getting the Z here. We'll be subtracting the Z from the location and the capsule component. So capsule height, um, or sorry, we'll, we'll do here first. Subtract from the capsule half height and then pump this into the negative or the um, the float to the Z over here. Okay, and by doing that, we're actually getting the the difference between the um, the hit location and the hip. Now we're going to put it in the negative direction by just uh, by by dividing by or float divide by negative one. And uh, there's another, th there's a function here which is called select float. By doing that, we're saying that if there is a hit, so if this hit returns true, to use A. If not, just use zero, meaning don't move. Then you pump this in here. Our function is now complete, because as you see, all of the outputs are filled, and all of the inputs are done too. So hit compile, go back to your event graph, and you can see that we have this one. And all one of the nice things about functions is that all this functionality can also be applied to the right foot. So all you have to do is string them together, change the socket name to right foot, keep everything else the same, and we can have our uh, hit stuff. In fact, let's do a print to see what it looks like. Print string, we'll do this one first, and then this one again for the hip offset, and just copy that. This is really just to see what the values are going to be, and you can kind of see what the interplay is, and the hit. So first is the left foot. Um, location and offset, and then the second print values are location and offset for the right foot. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see uh, over here, I can't exactly move my mouse to it, but the very top number there is the Oh, okay. It looks like it's the offset, then the location, then offset and location. And as I move around, you'll see that when I'm over here, notice how it says negative 31. So the hip is supposed to move negative 31 um, degrees down to that stair that you see it over here. And the bottom one, the X and Y is going to be moving constantly because it's it's associated with the character's feet, the actual like socket location. But notice the Z. Notice how the Z axis changes over time. So in a case like this, where both of the Zs are the same, 
Um, you don't have to worry about uh, actually doing any IK for that. However, on something like this, where you see you have the uh, 325 and the 285 z-axis locations, um, that means that you have to essentially move the character down some and then go ahead and place the, um, the feet on those areas. So that is the beginning of our thing. Um, this is how you get functions down. The next step we're going to be continuing with our inside of the character blueprint and actually get the rest of the calculations for the um, hip offset and also do some blending. And with there, we're also going to be passing the variables that the animation blueprint will be using. See you in the next video.